water cycle happens all around us and it is really simple. Rainfall falls on land, sea and waterways. This evaporates into the sky and forms condensation which builds up in clouds to again produce rainfall. When water falls on hard, man-made surfaces like roads or buildings, it can often disrupt this natural water cycle and leads to problems like flooding and pollution. Our cities and towns have often grown around water, by rivers or by the sea, and water is really important to everyone in those places. People love to live and have fun near water. So, we think water should be a really important part of how we design our places and how we live there. Water can help make places nicer to live and to visit. So enjoying and using water safely on or near the surface is better than keeping it in pipes under the ground that can become blocked or overwhelmed by stormwater. Our approach to this is called water sensitive urban design. It is a way of using different parts of the water cycle, drinking water, rainwater and wastewater to design and better plan places to live, visit and work. It also helps reduce pollution and downstream flooding. And it can mean there is more water available for people when sometimes there can be droughts. We can use water sensitive urban design when designing our homes and also for large cities and towns. Even a city that already has lots of paving and concrete can be changed to use rainwater much better. But how does it work? Instead of letting water from the sink run away down the drain, we could use it to water our gardens or flush our toilets. If we use surfaces that absorb rainwater instead of standard paving, it can help reduce flooding and pollution. Using our roofs for gardens and plants can help bring more wildlife into our towns and cities and rainwater from our roofs can go straight into our gardens to help the plants grow. There are lots of useful things we can do to use rainwater instead of letting it run away in pipes. Engineers, designers, architects, landscape architects and communities can use water-sensitive urban design to help reduce pollution and floods as well as help increase the amount of water for us and the environment where needed. So, by simply thinking differently, working together and working with the water cycle, we can create much better and more beautiful places for people and wildlife that will last a long time. What could you imagine with water-sensitive urban design? Visit the Water Sensitive Urban Design website to find out more.